In this lesson, we're going to be going over the basics of completing the square. So all I want you to really do is the following. You know how you sometimes get a um, equation written in standard form like that? Well, no, I'm not going to use an equation. We're not talking about equations in this lesson. Um, but you know when you've seen ax squared plus bx plus c, um, I want you to always make sure that the a is a 1. Okay, so a must always be a 1 when completing the square. And then and then um, all that you do after that is look at the b value. So the b value here is uh, 40. I want you to half that number. So half the b value, well, that would be 20. Then you're just going to add that over there to the power of 2. Then you're going to open up a bracket to the power of 2, and you're just going to take everything that has the power of 2. It will always be this part, and then this part over here. And you're just going to go write that over there. And that is done. That is how we do, that is the introduction phases of how to complete the square. Later on in this lesson, we're also going to be doing ones that have fractions. So it's going to get a bit more interesting as we go along. So here's the next one. Always make sure that the A value is a 1, which it is. Then look at the B value, it's 36. So B is 36. Then you're going to take half of that number, so half of that would be 18. You're going to put that over there to the power of 2, and then you're just going to open up a bracket to the power of 2, and then you're just going to take these two things over here that have the power of 2, like that. Here's the next one. So here the b value is negative 32. So half of that, so half of b would be negative 16. So you're going to put a negative 16 here, but now things look a little bit weird. So what you're going to do is put the negative 16 in a bracket. Okay, let's put it in a bracket, like that. So then you open up your bigger bracket and you're going to say m, negative 16, and 2, or like it to the power of 2. Now we're going to start using fractions. So here we have a fraction, so um, it gets a little bit more interesting now, but it's the same thing. So you say that b is negative 3 over 4. Now half of that, you might want to type this on your calculator, but half of that is actually negative 3 over 8. So you're going to put negative 3 over 8 over here, and then to the power of 2, and then you're going to open up a bracket and just say x take away 3 over 8 to the power of 2. Let's do another fraction one. We've got quite a few fraction ones because these are the ones that learners struggle the most with or struggle with the most. So here we have b equals to negative 23 over 20. So half of that, um, to find half of a fraction, you actually just multiply the bottom by 2. That's what I'm doing. So I'm saying negative 23 over 40. Okay, and so we're going to put in a bracket negative 23 over 40 to the power of 2. Then you're going to open up your bracket and just say x take away 23 over 40 to the power of 2. Okay, here's another normal one again, although this one is actually going to have a bit of a fraction. So if we say that b is negative 11, half of that would be negative 11 over 2. So we'll say negative 11 over 2, like that. Open up your bracket to the power of 2, and then just say n minus 11 over 2. Here's another one. So here your b value is 3. So half of that would be 3 over 2. So you're just going to say 3 over 2 squared. And then open up a bracket and just say a plus 3 over 2. And then our last example, b here is negative 9. So half of that would just be negative 9 over 2. So that would go like this to the power of 2, and then you're just going to open up your bracket and just say x take away 9 over 2. And that's the basics of completing the square. We haven't been, we, we weren't solving equations or anything like that. This is just the introductory phases for completing the square.